the aim of this uh, of this model is to demonstrate the value of IV and PV characteristic for the four panels that has been taken for the four irradiation and the four temperature values for this we will be utilizing the four panels as you can see the PV module has been taken one two three and the four four modules has been connected by a single by the four irradiation value this is the irradiation value that we are taking that can be seen by you know, by using the constant block as you can see we have taken the radiation value at the four different radiation 1000 1000 1000 and again for the second case when we have considered the temperature portion the temperature will be taken for the four different for the four different panels this is the temperature value and this is the panel and these panels are connected with uh, a measuring block that is going to measure the four and then this is the positive and negative terminals that are connected the positive is connected with the negative terminal of each of them that means the C plus minus that is the series connection and this will this is the bypass diode for so that the hotspots cannot be generated at this portion and then we have used the voltage measurement block this is going to measure the overall voltage across the across the across the panel measurement of voltage it is connected in the parallel and this is the current measurement this is connected in the series with this this is a measurement of this is the measurement of current this is the measurement of the current and it is connected in the series then to analyze that effect we have used the control voltage source that means the the positive term the negative terminal of this is given to this and by the help of this the RAM function has been provided this RAM function is going to provide a single that means the current output so that the IV and PV curve can be plotted this is the this is the bus bar that we have connected the number of input has been given to the output terminal that is the same out and this is the IV and the PV curve so now we are going to analyze how what is the effect we have taken the four radiations and we have taken the four temperature but they are taken at the STC value so the IV and the PV curve we have to demonstrate it will be like this again we are going to run it for 10 seconds to see what are the IV and the PV curve this is the PV curve of the panel and this is the this is the IV curve for the given four panels as you can see this again we are going to run it so that it can be easily seen what are the effects see this is the IV this is the IV characteristic that means at the x axis we have the i and v and this is the pv characteristic now this has been checked for a single radiation in the single temperature now we are what we are going to do we are going to change the value of a radiation so that the if the shading effect is taking place so rather than taking the 1000 radiation we have at the second terminal we have used 800 radiation will be there and for and after that there is a sudden shade effect is there and after that again it is going to be a it is again going to be the 800 so for the four and the temperature has been kept constant that means 25 degree we are going to check it now we are going to plot the IV and the PV curve again for this as you can see this is the this is the PV curve and you can see at this terminal the voltage the irradiation has been varied so the curve that has been plot will be different in this thing or you can change it for the different if for example if the temperature is also varied that means 25 if the temperature is rather than 25 it has been 30 and again at 25 and it has become 35 so for that we will be checking the value and the irradiation is kept both the things are changing so this is the PV curve 
this is the PV curve that we have obtained and this is the IV curve that we have obtained. So this is the effect of the shading and the other one was the effect of when the irradiation in the temperature has been kept constant for this. So the Simulink model can be available on the website of the YouTube that has been given here and the link has been provided to this.